Ohayo gozaimasu. This is Jonathan. Um, today we're going to feature a guitar from Saito. This is something that I haven't reviewed before. Interesting guitar. This is a Saito S622CS in matted sand beige finish. we 
If you're new to this channel, I just want to subscribe to this channel and press that bell for notification of future videos to follow and be part of Patreon to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I want to thank Clem and Young from uh, Guitar 77 for passing me this guitar for review. Okay, I gotta tell you, I'm in love with this guitar. Straight off the bat, I'm gonna tell you I'm in love with this guitar, but I'm just thinking whether do I need another strat. Anyway, this is from Saito, a, Jap a Japanese company. Um, I haven't heard of them actually until Clement uh, mentioned uh, them to me. Uh, looking closely at the headstock, it reminds you of, uh, you know, yeah, the James Tyler guitar. Uh, but I think what they plan to do with this guitar is to um, to produce guitars that are of a certain quality, 
top quality that is comparable to the Tylers, to the Sirs, to the PRS. And I think this is seated. Um, this is a great sounding guitar, easy to play with. I really love this neck. Um, okay, just gonna tell you the appointments. You have a two-piece outer body in a what is this? This is a sand, a matted sand beige finish. Really nice, you know. Yeah, I gotta leave it to the Japanese to come up with all these weird color schemes, which are really unique, you know. Um, more of a grayish kind of beige, yeah, kind of finish, which is really nice. Now it features a hard maple neck, a Indian rosewood fretboard with a compound radius of 10 to 12 inch. You have celluloid um, inlays with nickel uh, jumbo frets. Now this looks like a test nut to me. It could be a composite of their own design. I do not, I'm not so sure because no, no information was stated about the nut. But it's a nut width of 42 mm. These are uh, Goto lock-in tuners, right? Really nice. And then you have the headstock, really nice Saito. So for the body, you have a white pick guard with a Goto 510 tremolo system. You have a five-way pickup selector switch, a volume in two tones. There's no push-pull for any uh, split call function. Now, these pickups are from Seton. You have the uh, growl for the neck as well as the middle. And the bore-up humbucker, right? It's called the bore-up. Don't ask me why, but they sound great. You know, these pickups are really nice. Um, apart from that, you have the... Uh, Aluminium plate for the neck joint, a four screw neck joint, no back plate. So this is all bare. You can actually kind of like, it's easy if you want to change strings. I think they make it easier for you. And yes, you have a truss roll adjustment here, not here, right here, all right? So how does it play? Now this guitar plays beautifully. Um, this C-shaped neck is like really easy to play. Uh, jumbo frets and everything in a compound radius of 10 to 12, which is really interesting. Uh, it makes me, play in a different way and I like guitars that makes me play in a different way right you I don't where I don't feel any obstruction or any obstacles I just kind of can I'm able to glide uh, through the lines that I'm supposed to play and this guitar allows me to do that so I, I'm, I'm really pleased with this now the pickups are really traditional sounding um, especially for the neck and the middle pickup you can get really nice stretchy tones I'm talking about traditional Fender-ish kind of tones that you get from the second and the fourth position, especially the neck pickup alone. You can get really nice uh, strat tones. Now the bore up uh, humbuckers are really good. I mean, it it has a certain frequency uh, boost that um, that projects your 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 solo sound in, in in a way that it's musical. Now some pickups are either too brash, too bright, or too dark. This is just nice, I feel. This is just nice. Now, other than that, the guitar feels really easy on my hands, like, you know, when I'm sitting down and when I'm, when I'm playing. And most guitars that I feel comfortable when I'm sitting down will feel really comfortable when I'm standing up. So I, I think this would be a breeze to play when I'm standing up on stage. Nice guitar. Yeah. Um, I like this guitar a lot. So this guitar would be in my um, top list of guitars this year so far. Let me know what you think about this guitar. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Now the guitar is available in Guitar 77, so if you're in Singapore, just pop it down to the, uh, the shop. It's, I think it's based somewhere in Orchard Road. Uh, and look out for Clement. He's a fantastic guitar player, so he knows his stuff. This guitar came in really well set up. Uh, and yeah, play with it. Check it out. And there are a couple of colors available, so uh, you can take a pick. And if you are interested in the international website, there is a link in my description. All the links are in the description. Uh, you can check out the website. They have a really nice website with uh, lots of Decido guitars. You know. Cool. All right, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to, subscribe to this channel. Press that bell for notification of future videos and follow and be part of patrons to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I thank all my patrons for the wonderful love, the support, and the friendship. Thank you so much, guys. So in the meantime, you guys, please take care of yourself. Sayonara!